Who are you, my friends? Who are you? Do you know who you are? Who are you? Inside. Maybe you're answering that question with, oh, well, I am, enter your name, whatever your name is, Bob, Billy, Joe, Mary, Jane. Maybe you're going a little bit deeper. Oh, I am a Christian or I am a Buddhist or I am this or I'm that. Maybe you can even go deeper. You can say, oh, I am a spiritual being or I am a soul or I am X or I am Y or I am Z. I'm here to argue that you are nothing. You actually don't exist in reality. What exists? the component parts of your mind and of your body. That's all that exists. This is the biggest illusion of uh, life and of spirituality is this I, getting attached to the I, mine, me, and mine, and I. I am this and you are that, well, definitely we're going to fight. If that's mine, and you try to take what's mine, definitely there's going to be a problem. And the little I, and if you insult I, oof, that's not going to feel too good. The Buddha said that the mind and the body are like components. They're component parts, just like any machine on this earth, a clock or a wagon, the Buddha used this example. Because there weren't any clocks 2,600 years ago. But there were um, stables and horse wagons, you know, what you ride a horse on, or behind the horse. The Buddha said if you were to take apart this wagon and look at the wheel and the bolts and the screws and whatever component parts that go into this little piece of technology, can you look at any of these parts and say, this is me, or this is mine, or this is the essence of this cart? or this is myself, no. Similarly, you can't take a look at this one, this mind and this body and say, oh, this mind is me, or this body is mine, or these thoughts are myself, or these emotions are me. No, it's incorrect. Even the deepest thing that human beings now talk about is the soul, you know, this word soul is being thrown around. It's also incorrect. Because fundamentally, you don't know if you have a soul. A soul to you is just a word. In reality, you have never seen a soul, never felt it or touched it. It's just a word that people throw around. A soul, maybe you have a feeling where the soul is, or you can point to your heart. Ah, my soul is right here. Where the intention arises, which is your heart or your subconscious mind. But in reality, my friends, there is no such a thing as a soul in, as you perceive it, meaning some everlasting floaty thing that comes into this life and then goes away from this life. Meaning that it's not permanent and it's not you. It's not your essence. In reality, there is no essence. So coming back to the original point of view from this video in the beginning of what I just said, is that you are nothingness. You are nothing. You are empty. That is the fundamental truth. Obviously, I can't say you in this context or in this sentence because you, as we already know, is an illusion. It's an illusory substance. There is no you. If I take a look at Siri or Alexa or Google Home, Maybe I uh, awoken some of those technologies in your room, if they're listening. Siri doesn't have an essence. It doesn't have a personality or an ego or a soul or a thing in inside of himself. It's just component parts playing out this little machine. Similarly, this one. But the difference is that I have consciousness and consciousness is a real thing. And consciousness is maybe the most permanent thing here, but still impermanent. Consciousness is just arising dependently upon certain factors. 
it's here and it's just as impermanent as your eyeball or your nose or your tongue or your body or your ears or your mind or whatever else. So you are emptiness. Ultimately, this is what I want to get into this video. This is what I want to share with you here is that you are emptiness or only there is emptiness in the universe. <laughs> Not that you can't be anything. But this mind again and this body is just playing in this universe and the vastness of the universe, the actual ground or the foundation of this universe is emptiness, is nothingness. What you really call, what you can call as yourself, your essence is nothing. When you attain Maha Samadhi, which means total dissolution, the Buddha called it permanent annihilation, extinction, nirvana. You dissolve into the emptiness. Again, we've already discussed that there is no you, but the component parts break apart and the conditions to give rise to the component parts, once again, do not arise. So you simply do not exist. You, again, being a, only a conceptual thought. You is a concept. That's what you is. Maybe when I say you, some great feeling comes in your body because you think, oh, me. But there is no me. There is only causes and conditions. Cause and effect. This little sense of me is a mind-created thing. It doesn't exist in reality. Like my nails don't exist in reality per se. It's dependent upon causes and conditions. And if the causes cease to exist, then the nail will also cease to exist. Maybe there's conditions of people that are sick and their nails fall off. Well, no more nails for them. Similarly, when you attain the highest goal of spiritual liberation, you become non-existence. You don't exist. It's like if I take a computer or a phone and take it apart, each individual part, and that's it. There is no more phone. And maybe I even smelt the metal and recycle the plastic and take all the component parts and put them back into the earth, where is the phone essence? Where is the phone? There is no phone. It's just dependent upon causes and conditions. So you too shall be like this if you continue on the spiritual path and if you attain to final realization, final liberation, you will simply dissolve. That is what I wish for you, my friends. Dissolution, simply dissolution. So continue on the spiritual path, follow the five moral precepts, practice meditation, cultivate wisdom, and you shall get there too. That's it, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to uh, chat with me, if you want to do a spiritual consultation, if you want me to be your spiritual coach, the price is $120 to have a conversation with me. Um, link will be down below to pay me uh, via PayPal, $120 Canadian. And then send me a message on Facebook and uh, whatever other platforms that there are. And we will speak to each other. And I will help you out, definitely. Whatever areas you're dealing with life, I can effortlessly assist you in that. Because my reach goes far beyond my, this physical reach, this physical, my physical body. And yes, do this for yourself, okay? I promise you it'll be worth it. And if not, I will give you your money back. And as always, join my spiritual community on Discord. I have a spiritual Discord. It's a lot of fun. We uh, do daily meditations there. We've started to. 
and you can speak to various people that are on the spiritual path as well and you can also speak with me there uh, via chat and uh, every once in a while we do a group call you can be on my youtube channel uh, with carlos dj los so shout out to you uh, carlos wherever you are out there and that's it my friends thank you so much for watching like this video contribute to this video however you can and uh, i'll see you again next time peace